Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today we are testing our Buddha uh, foundation and the Huda Jelly Primer. Now, I have this foundation in 100B milkshake and I tested it like I feel like before this video twice. I'm not 100% sure, twice. And yes, this is like a little review first impression because I don't think it's like a whole some review about this foundation. But I'm making a word test today because this foundation claims to last six hours at least. Let me check that again. So right now on the Huda page, I see that they claim this foundation is a lightweighted, a very natural foundation. You can build it up to full coverage. It lasts at least 10 hours, waterproof, humidity proof and sweat resistant. So humidity proof, in summer in Hong Kong, that would be amazing if that's true. That I can't test because really right now our winter in Hong Kong is relatively dry and cold, but that would be amazing if that's true. And yes, it's apparently a very natural foundation. It's also vegan, it's fragrance free. How good is that for Huda Beauty? Like I would have never bought this foundation if it would be, if she would have put as much fragrance into the foundation like she did in the last one in the Fox Filter foundation. And if it would be a full coverage foundation again, because you know, I'm, I'm not a full coverage girl. The foundation, maybe I should also mention that this foundation is available in 39 shades. And I feel really, I have to say that Huda does an amazing job with finding undertones for different, you know, fair skin, cool, cooler undertone, like, olive undertone like she has really a variety i have to give her credit for that and yes it was just a little bit tricky for me to find my perfect match but yes i will stop talking and let's start right with the review now i will just apply the primer now it's like a jelly primer mm. it has like a watery consistency like it's not like a gel primer but it has a very watery consistent it's almost like a serum and yes i just apply it on my skin and pat it in a bit let me check and i feel like it does a really good job with hydrating just applying it on the cheeks because i'm usually getting dry around this area the most what the primer looks like when you put it on the skin as you can see I have still like redness here and I have a scratch here I don't understand how this happened it came overnight but as you see you have some discoloration just that you know later and it makes the skin just look very glowy and dewy and yes it's not a bad primer so what I do now is using the foundation putting the primer aside and I really like the shade, as you can see, it's a really good match. And that's what I actually do with the foundation. If I need more, I apply later more. And then I just take a brush and trying to blend that really into my foundation, uh, in my skin. And you know, my relationship with stick foundations is not that good actually i have the hourglass foundation and yes um i feel like not worth the hype not worth the money yeah just not the best i'm using by the way the it cosmetics brush i have two because yesterday i used another one and this one is a clean one and yes i don't think like yeah stick foundations is the best for my skin type which is dry skin which i say in every freaking video but i'm so sorry it's like for people who don't know and come new to this channel that they know that I'm dry. So this is what one layer looks like. And you see, I'm still a little bit reddish here from my outbreak from my mask knee. So I'm putting a little bit more foundation here, maybe around my mouth. Other than that, I'm really okay. And then I build it up. Like this foundation is, I feel like it's buildable. But you also have to take care. I don't think like it's as buildable as people claim it to be that it doesn't get cakey at all because I can see that I'm getting a little bit more cakey around where I build up the foundation. 
So and what I like to do then is going over with a sponge. I always do that with every foundation. Um, using the beauty blender and I wetted it and I just go over it. So it takes over the excess product, you know that. So less kicky. I'm okay with the coverage of this foundation as you can see it is really for stick foundation I feel like it's a very light coverage and I really like that and as you can see it covers up all imperfections very good you can see it a little bit shining through but I don't I don't mind that that much you can fix that with concealer and other than that I like the finish right now I feel like it looks very natural um, yeah, I really like it. I feel like it's a good match with my neck, as you can see. It just looks good for a stick foundation. I also don't feel dry or anything. Right now, I'm really happy. Now what I'm going to do, I will do the rest of my makeup. And then, of course, over the day, I will come back and you and tell you what happened with the foundation, how it wore over the day. Yeah, you know that, <laughs> what I'm doing. So, I'm doing the rest of my makeup off camera. And then I'll see you soon again. So guys, I'm done. I finished the rest of my makeup. I just sat where I usually sat, which is underneath my eyes, around my nose and around my lip. And right now it is, oh my God, it's already so late. It is 10.59, so it's 11. This is what the foundation looks like. I also applied setting, I also applied setting spray. And this is what, wait, let me put up my, my hair a bit so you can see my forehead. This is what the foundation looks like. Oh, my mascara smudged a bit. And now I, I will have a problem with my bangs again. Um, yes, right now everything looks really good. I mean, you can still see the scratch here I have for whatever reason. Very hard to cover and I don't wind it like whatever. Um, but other than that, I feel like it looks very good good for a stick foundation it looks natural um, it looks very glowy right now and yes we will just see how this goes over the day right now I'm very pleased hi guys I'm here to check on you again or on me <laughs> and yes uh, it is now 122 and I wear this foundation now three hours around that time and this is what it looks like Where's the focus going? And you can see this small scratch here and I will be honest with you, I feel tight. I feel very tight around my cheek area and on my forehead and that's usually the places where I'm the driest and I can feel it like it's not a good feeling and um, also and that's very hard to catch a camera so you have to kind of believe me when I go very close with a mirror on me around here like I don't know it's impossible I tried several times to zoom that in but then I lose my focus and then it's very blurry and so you don't see it all um, the thing is around here and here um, this foundation set into my pores <laughs> and that is something no other foundation really does um, because you know I'm saying that now for five million times but I will continue to say it is I have dry skin my skin pores are very very small like logically so they are normally not really noticeable nor they are emphasized by any foundation now we are here and I have like it looks like it sits on top of my pores it's not really in my like not in the skin and yeah it makes it look very very kicky I can see it around here and here and maybe a little bit here too and here too like I can see it, that it is not looking the best um, especially in natural light like mm, very hard now what I can also see is that it kind of like went away above my mouth here 
and then it has like this kind of like line where the foundation stops it looks a little bit weird and yeah it got a little bit kicky around the chin um yeah not looking that good like i have to be honest if it was a normal day and not a wear test day i would already remove my foundation and put on another one <laughs> if i'm quite honest because i'm kind of like you know the most important thing nearly for me is my foundation like i don't care if my eyeshadow doesn't look that good i don't care if my eyeliner doesn't look that good i want my foundation my complexion to look good because then my day is already better and right now if i were not about to film this for the wear test i would remove this totally you can see that right here that i have a line here so yeah guys uh 125 i will check on you um later i will also go out and buy some water because you know we always need to have water at home and then we talk again how it was like with wearing a mask if it is transfer improved because i think like it says it is i have to look it up again and <laughs> my brain and then yes we will i guess check on it how it went still over through the day so stay tuned and hope to see you soon so hi guys, I'm back. I bought some um, water. Uh, now it's currently three, 10 minutes past 3 p.m. And yes, this is my mask, just that you see if this is transfer proof or not. I don't know if this is like really the best test, just that you see if it is or no. And I just feel like this foundation is so dry on me that it can't transfer because my skin is holding on to it and yes I don't think the foundation on my skin really changed so dark now and um, I just put on some lip oil because my lip you can see here is getting so dry I have to take care of that so dry and yes other than that I don't see that the foundation kind of changed in that I don't know two hours I was off and yes that's all i can say i feel like it stayed in place now i feel like it didn't move i mean i didn't like exercise or anything crazy so it should stay normal and yes like always it's no need to know so yes that's actually it um i feel like i will just uh come back to you once i hope the light is still there otherwise we are still again in the darkish mode but okay um two hours two three hours i come back to you and tell you what i feel and yes so i hope to see Hi you guys soon. i'm back and it is uh, the sun is setting and it is now oh my god why is this always like weird from, from my phone whatever it's 5 29 5 29 as you can see and i'm just showing you the foundation in natural daylight and yes um what i feel about like i still feel very dry i could solve the situation because i had to reapply my uh sunscreen and i just sprayed over the foundation the super cool Oh my god. And I just sprayed over, sorry, somebody ringed at my door. And I sprayed over the Super Goop sunscreen, which is an over makeup sunscreen application thing, whatever. And then it was not as dry anymore. Like you see, I have a shine, but I still feel dry. That's my problem. And yes, I feel like I have to use an oil or a different primer. I feel like the Huda Jelly Primer is not enough for the dry skin I have with this thick foundation. But, anyways, um, I think like it's pretty natural and it does a good job for a stick foundation for dry skin so I don't know if it's my last time I check on you we will see so guys I'm checking in very last time my battery is dying <laughs> and this is looking really bad like my lip is so dry um, yes um, what should I say the foundation didn't really change now it's only my phone never shows 618 and yes uh, I feel like I wore it for quite a long time as I said I feel like really dry I don't think it's the best foundation for dry skin um, I will try it with oils and other stuff but right now I can't really say that it will be my favorite foundation it looks natural it lasts pretty well on my skin but just the feeling and the finish like as I said like it really enhanced my pores don't think it is my favorite foundation of all time so yeah thank you so much for watching <laughs> look at my hair um, I will get get ready like for getting my pajamas and stuff and thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and yes i hope to see you soon in another video of mine bye bye